Did you know that the key to becoming a high-value man isn't about chasing status, wealth, or external validation? It's about cultivating the traits that truly matter, traits that resonate on a deeper level and have the power to transform your life from the inside out. If you've ever wondered what sets a high-value man apart, you're about to find out. This journey isn't about quick fixes or superficial changes. It's about embracing the qualities that elevate your character, enhance your relationships, and allow you to live with purpose. In this video, we're going to dive deep into what it really means to be a high-value man. You'll learn how to embody self-sufficiency and independence, uplift those around you with genuine care, and build unshakable confidence. We'll explore how treating your partner as an equal creates stronger bonds, and how deep engagement through listening can change the way you connect with others. This isn't just about becoming someone others admire. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. So, if you're ready to unlock the traits that will elevate your life and set you on the path to becoming a high-value man, keep watching. This is your blueprint for transformation, one that will challenge you, inspire you, and ultimately, change you for the better. 1. Transforming into a high-value man Imagine a world where every step you take radiates confidence, where every word you speak resonates with purpose. Picture yourself walking into a room, not needing to announce your presence because the energy you carry speaks louder than words. You're not chasing approval or desperately seeking attention. Instead, you're the kind of man people naturally gravitate towards, effortlessly commanding respect. Sounds like a dream, right? Now what if I told you this isn't just a dream? This transformation into a high-value man is within your grasp. You see, we live in a time where the lines between boys and men are blurred. The concept of masculinity is often confused with bravado and surface-level charm. But being a high-value man is not about impressing others with shallow tricks. It's about digging deep within yourself, mastering traits that have stood the test of time, traits that define true greatness. These are the qualities that make you attractive, not just to women, but to everyone you encounter. It's about becoming a man of substance, of character, and ultimately, a man of value. As we embark on this journey together, let's take a moment to reflect on what it means to be a man in today's world. Think back to the moments when you felt truly powerful, truly in control of your destiny. Perhaps it was a time when you accomplished something significant or when you stood up for yourself in a difficult situation. Those moments of triumph, of inner strength, those are the moments we're going to build on but I won't lie to you, this transformation requires effort. It's not about taking shortcuts or looking for quick fixes. It's about real, meaningful change. So if you're ready to step up and become the man you were always meant to be, if you're prepared to put in the work, then let's dive in. Together, we'll explore the first three traits that will set you on the path to becoming a high-value man. These traits are more than just characteristics. They're the foundation upon which you'll build your legacy. The power of self-sufficiency and independence. Let's start with a question. When was the last time you felt truly independent, truly self-sufficient? Maybe it was when you first moved out of your parents' house, when you landed your first job, or when you realized that you didn't need anyone else to validate your worth. That feeling of independence, of standing on your own two feet, that's a key component of being a high-value man. Self-sufficiency is not just about being financially independent or living on your own. It's about having a mindset that says, I don't need to chase after anything or anyone because I am enough. Think of yourself as an oak tree, firmly rooted, standing tall, unshaken by the winds of life. You're not the leaf being blown about, desperate for attention or approval. You are the source of your own power, 
Remember that first time you felt the thrill of achieving something on your own? Maybe it was fixing something around the house or figuring out a tough problem at work. That sense of accomplishment, of realizing I did this, is exactly what we're talking about. It's a feeling that stays with you and it's something you can build on every day. But this isn't just about basking in your own glory. It's about creating a life so fulfilling, so rich with purpose, that others are naturally drawn to you. You're not chasing, you're attracting. It's about becoming the kind of man who women and people in general can't resist because you're whole on your own. Let's get practical for a moment. How do you cultivate this self-sufficiency? It starts with focusing on your goals. Do you have a mission in life that drives you? Something that gets you out of bed in the morning? If not, it's time to find it. When you're passionate about something bigger than yourself, you naturally become more attractive. Next, look at your hobbies and interests. Are they fulfilling? Do they make you a more interesting, well-rounded person? When you have a rich inner life, you don't need constant validation from others. But perhaps the most challenging aspect of self-sufficiency is learning to be comfortable with solitude. In today's hyper-connected world, it's easy to fill every quiet moment with distractions. But a high-value man learns to embrace solitude, to be at peace with his own company. This inner calm, this sense of completeness, is incredibly magnetic. It's not about playing hard to get, it's about being hard to forget. Women, and people in general, are drawn to men who are complete on their own. It's a paradox, but the less you need others, the more they'll want to be around you. 3. Genuine upliftment of others. Now, let's shift gears a bit. Think back to a time when someone genuinely lifted you up, when they saw something in you that you might not have even seen in yourself. Maybe it was a teacher who believed in your potential, a friend who encouraged you during a tough time, or a mentor who recognized your talent. How did that make you feel? That sense of being truly seen, of having someone recognize your worth, it's powerful, isn't it? Now, imagine being the kind of man who can do that for others. That's what genuine upliftment is all about. In a world that's often focused on tearing others down, being a man who lifts others up is rare. But it's also one of the most attractive qualities you can possess. And I'm not talking about empty flattery or shallow compliments. I'm talking about real soul-deep appreciation. It's about seeing the gold in others and not being afraid to point it out. It's about making people feel valued, not just for their looks, but for their character, their strengths, their unique qualities. Do you remember the last time someone truly appreciated something about you? Not just a passing compliment, but a genuine recognition of your effort, your strength, your intelligence. It's a feeling that stays with you, that lifts you up and makes you want to be better. And when you're the one giving that kind of recognition, you're not just making someone's day, you're building a connection, a bond that's based on respect and mutual admiration. So how do you become a man who genuinely uplifts others? It starts with training your eyes to see the best in people. Everyone has something special about them, something unique that sets them apart. Your job is to find it and acknowledge it. But don't stop at general compliments. Be specific. Instead of saying, you're amazing, say, the way you handled that situation was really impressive. Specific praise shows that you're really paying attention, that you see them for who they are, not just what they look like. And here's the key. Uplift others without expecting anything in return. This isn't about manipulation or trying to get something out of someone. It's about genuinely appreciating them for who they are. When you do this, you create a positive energy that people are naturally drawn to. And that energy, that positivity, will come back to you tenfold. Being the man who lifts others up makes you valuable in a world that often focuses on bringing people down. 4. Building confidence and self-assurance. Confidence is often misunderstood. 
we tend to think of it as being loud, assertive, or always in control. But real confidence, the kind that's magnetic, that draws people to you without effort, is something much deeper. It's a quiet assurance, a calm presence that speaks volumes without saying a word. It's the kind of confidence that doesn't need to boast or prove itself because it's rooted in self-knowledge and inner peace. Think back to a time when you felt truly confident. Maybe it was after you achieved something significant or when you walked into a room knowing you belonged there. That feeling of being comfortable in your own skin, of knowing your worth, that's the kind of confidence we're talking about. It's not about puffing out your chest or talking the loudest. It's about understanding your strengths and weaknesses and being at peace with who you are. But building this kind of confidence isn't easy. It takes time, effort, and a willingness to step out of your comfort zone. It starts with truly knowing yourself. Do you understand your strengths and weaknesses? Do you know what you stand for, what your values are? When you have a clear understanding of who you are, you become unshakable. You're not easily swayed by others' opinions or external circumstances because you know your worth. Once you've established this foundation, it's time to start setting small, achievable goals. Each goal you accomplish, no matter how small, builds your confidence. It's like stacking bricks to build a solid wall. Every success adds to your sense of self-assurance, making you stronger and more resilient. But confidence isn't just about success. It's also about facing your fears. The more you step out of your comfort zone, the more your confidence grows. It's about embracing challenges and learning from failures, knowing that each obstacle you overcome adds to your inner strength. And finally, confidence is about how you carry yourself. Stand tall, make eye contact, speak clearly and with purpose. These aren't just body language tricks, they're expressions of your inner strength. When you're confident in who you are, it shows in everything you do. People are naturally drawn to those who exude calm assurance, who don't need to shout to be heard. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on this journey of confidence. Think back to a time when you weren't confident, when you doubted yourself or felt unsure. How did you overcome it? What did you learn from that experience? As you think about these moments, remember that confidence is a journey, not a destination. It's something you build over time through your actions, your mindset, and your belief in yourself. But here's the beauty of it. Once you've built this confidence, it becomes a part of who you are. It's not something you have to force or fake. It's a natural extension of your inner strength, a reflection of your true self. And that, my friend, is incredibly attractive. When you're confident in who you are, you become a magnet for others. People are drawn to your energy, your calm assurance, your quiet strength. You become the kind of man who doesn't need to chase after anything or anyone, because you already have everything you need within yourself. 5. Treating partners as equals. Picture this. A relationship where respect flows in both directions, where both partners stand on equal ground. No one is put on a pedestal and no one is diminished. This balance, this mutual respect, is what truly elevates a partnership. In a world that often promotes the idea of grand gestures and placing someone on a throne, it's easy to lose sight of what really matters, equality in a relationship. For many, the idea of treating partners as equals might bring back memories of relationships where things felt unbalanced. Maybe you've been in a situation where one person had all the power, or maybe you were the one who felt like you were constantly giving more than you were receiving. These experiences can be tough, but they're also a powerful reminder of why equality is so important. It's not about making one person feel small, or holding someone on a pedestal. It's about building a connection that's based on mutual respect, where both people feel valued and understood. Now, let's dive into the core content. 
What does treating a partner as an equal really mean? It means engaging with them intellectually, not shying away from deep conversations and valuing their thoughts and ideas as much as their presence. It's about sharing responsibilities, both in the relationship and in life, and trusting that your partner is just as capable of handling challenges as you are. When you view your partner as your equal, you're not just acknowledging their strengths, you're also creating a foundation of trust and respect that can weather any storm. But this isn't just a theory, it's a practice, one that starts with understanding and valuing your partner's autonomy. It's easy to fall into the trap of wanting to protect or even control, but true respect comes from recognizing that your partner has their own dreams, goals and desires. Supporting them in these pursuits, even when they differ from your own, is a powerful way to show that you see them as your equal. In your past, you might have encountered relationships that didn't have this balance. Reflecting on those times can bring a sense of nostalgia, both for the good and the bad. Maybe you remember moments when things felt perfectly in sync, or perhaps you recall the frustration of feeling like you weren't on the same page. These memories serve as a guide reminding you of the importance of treating your partner as an equal. So, what happens when you start practicing this equality? Curiosity kicks in. How does this change the dynamic of your relationships? You begin to notice that your interactions are more fulfilling, that you're building something that lasts because it's rooted in respect and understanding. When you treat your partner as an equal, you're not just creating a healthy relationship, you're becoming a high-value man who knows the true meaning of partnership. 6. Deep engagement through listening. Imagine a world where every conversation feels meaningful, where you truly connect with the people around you because you're fully present. Listening, truly listening, is a skill that's often overlooked but incredibly powerful. It's more than just hearing words. It's about understanding the emotions and thoughts behind them. When you master the art of deep engagement through listening, you unlock a new level of connection with others, especially with your partner. Think back to moments in your life when someone really listened to you. How did that make you feel? Chances are you felt valued, understood and important. Those moments stand out because they're rare in a world that's often more focused on speaking than listening. This nostalgia for meaningful conversations can drive you to become a better listener, someone who creates those moments for others. Now let's delve into the core of this skill. Deep engagement through listening starts with giving your full attention. It's about putting away distractions, making eye contact, and showing that nothing matters more at that moment than what the other person is saying. It's also about listening to understand, not just to respond. This means letting go of the need to jump in with your own thoughts and instead focusing on truly grasping the other person's perspective. But it doesn't stop there. Engaging through listening also involves asking thoughtful questions, ones that show you're genuinely interested in what the other person has to say. It's about practicing empathy, trying to put yourself in their shoes and understand their emotions. And finally, it's about validating their feelings, acknowledging that what they're experiencing is real and important. This skill is particularly valuable in relationships where deep connection and understanding are key. When you listen to your partner in this way, you're not just hearing their words, you're seeing them, understanding them, and creating a bond that goes beyond surface level interactions. It's a powerful way to show that you value them as an equal, and it deepens the respect and trust between you. Curiosity comes into play as you start to notice the impact of this skill. How does it change your relationships? How does it transform the way people see you? You'll find that by becoming a better listener, you're not just improving your relationships, you're also becoming a more thoughtful, empathetic person. 
This is the mark of a high-value man, someone who understands that deep engagement through listening is a superpower in a world where everyone is talking. 7. Passion for life and adventure. Close your eyes and think back to a time when you felt truly alive. Maybe it was during an adventure trying something new or simply pursuing a passion that set your soul on fire. That feeling, the thrill of living with purpose and excitement, is what having a passion for life and adventure is all about. It's not just about seeking thrills, it's about approaching every day with enthusiasm and curiosity and bringing that energy into everything you do. For many of us, life can sometimes feel like a routine, a series of tasks and obligations that we go through without much thought. But when you have a passion for life, everything changes. You start to see opportunities where others see obstacles and you approach challenges with a sense of excitement rather than dread. This passion doesn't just make life more enjoyable, it makes you more attractive to others because it shows that you're someone who truly lives, not just exists. Reflecting on your past, you might feel nostalgic for the times when you embraced adventure, when you stepped outside your comfort zone and discovered new parts of yourself. Maybe it was a road trip with friends, a challenging hike, or learning a new skill that pushed your boundaries. These experiences remind you of the importance of living with passion, of seeking out adventure even in the everyday. But let's dig into the core of this trait. Having a passion for life and adventure means identifying what excites you, what makes you lose track of time because you're so immersed in it. It's about setting ambitious goals related to your passions and pushing yourself to grow and explore. It's also about being open to new experiences, saying yes to opportunities that might scare you a little because you know that growth happens outside your comfort zone. Sharing this passion with others is equally important. When you're enthusiastic about life, it's contagious. People are drawn to your energy and they want to be a part of your adventures. Whether it's trying out a new hobby, traveling to a new place, or simply approaching everyday tasks with a sense of purpose, your passion for life inspires others to do the same. And here's where curiosity comes in. As you embrace this passion, you start to wonder, how far can you go? What new experiences are out there waiting for you? How will this passion transform your relationships and your life? When you live with this kind of enthusiasm, you're not just becoming a high-value man, you're becoming the best version of yourself, someone who brings energy, excitement and purpose into every moment. 8. Valuing honesty and rejecting deception. Imagine living in a world where everyone is transparent, where honesty is the foundation of every relationship. It's a comforting thought, isn't it? Valuing honesty over deception is a principle that goes beyond just telling the truth. It's about being genuine, sincere and trustworthy in every aspect of life. When you choose honesty, you not only build stronger relationships, but also cultivate a sense of inner peace because you know that you're living authentically. Think back to a time when someone was completely honest with you, even if the truth was hard to hear. How did that make you feel? Perhaps it was painful at first, but over time, you likely appreciated their sincerity. Honesty fosters trust, and trust is the bedrock of any meaningful relationship. This nostalgic reflection reminds you of the importance of transparency, of how it strengthens bonds and creates a sense of security. Now, let's get into the core content. Valuing honesty means making a conscious decision to be truthful in all your interactions, even when it's uncomfortable. It's about rejecting deception in all its forms, whether that's telling a white lie to avoid conflict or hiding parts of yourself because you fear judgment. Embracing honesty requires courage. It means being vulnerable and open, allowing others to see the real you, flaws and all. But honesty isn't just about words, it's about actions too. 
Living honestly means aligning your actions with your values and ensuring that your behavior reflects your true intentions. It also means holding yourself accountable when you make mistakes and being willing to admit when you're wrong. This level of integrity is what sets a high-value man apart. It shows that you're someone who can be trusted, someone who others can rely on to be truthful and fair. Looking back, you might recall moments when you weren't entirely honest, either with yourself or others. Maybe it was a time when you hid your true feelings, thinking it would protect someone, or when you avoided the truth because it seemed easier. These memories can bring a sense of regret, but they also serve as valuable lessons in the importance of honesty. As you commit to valuing honesty, curiosity begins to take hold. How will this change your relationships? How will people respond to your newfound transparency? You might find that by rejecting deception and embracing honesty, you attract others who value the same principles. Your relationships become deeper, more meaningful, and built on a foundation of trust. In this way, honesty doesn't just define you as a high-value man, it transforms the way you connect with the world around you. 9. The ability to bring laughter and joy. Think about the last time you laughed so hard that your stomach hurt, or the last time someone's sense of humor brightened your day. Laughter and joy are universal languages. They bring people together, dissolve tension, and create bonds that transcend words. Having the ability to bring laughter and joy into the lives of others is a powerful trait, one that not only makes you more attractive, but also enriches your relationships and your own life. There's a certain nostalgia that comes with remembering those moments of pure joy. Maybe it was a funny story shared with friends, a light-hearted joke that lifted the mood, or a spontaneous moment of silliness that broke the ice. These memories remind us of the power of humor, of how it can turn even the most mundane moments into something special. They also highlight the importance of not taking life too seriously, of finding joy in the little things. At the core of this trait is the understanding that humor is more than just making people laugh. It's about creating an atmosphere of positivity where others feel comfortable and at ease. Being someone who can bring laughter and joy means knowing how to lighten the mood when things get heavy, how to find the silver lining in challenging situations, and how to use humor to connect with others on a deeper level. But it's not just about telling jokes or being the life of the party. True humor comes from empathy and understanding, knowing what will resonate with others and how to make them feel good. It's about being mindful of the impact your words and actions have on others and using humor to uplift rather than diminish. This is what sets a high-value man apart. He uses his ability to bring joy as a tool for connection, not just entertainment. Reflecting on the past, you might recall times when humor played a pivotal role in your relationships. Perhaps it was a shared joke that brought you closer to someone or a moment of laughter that diffused a tense situation. These experiences remind you of the value of humor, of how it can strengthen bonds and make life more enjoyable. As you embrace this ability, curiosity starts to grow. How can you use humor to enhance your relationships? How can you bring more joy into your own life and the lives of those around you? By making laughter and joy a priority, you're not just becoming a high-value man, you're becoming someone who others want to be around, someone who makes the world a little brighter with their presence. 10. Initiative and decisive action. Imagine standing at a crossroads, facing a decision that could change the course of your life. It's easy to hesitate, to wait for the perfect moment or for someone else to make the first move. But high-value men don't wait. They take initiative and make decisive action. They understand that life is too short to be passive, that success and fulfillment come from seizing opportunities and taking control of their destiny. Think back to times in your life when you took initiative, 
when you made a decision that set you on a new path. Maybe it was pursuing a career change, starting a new project, or even making the first move in a relationship. These moments likely brought a mix of excitement and fear, but they also brought growth and progress. This nostalgia for those pivotal moments serves as a reminder of the power of taking action, of how it can shape your life in ways you never imagined. At the core of this trait is the understanding that indecision is often the biggest obstacle to success. Waiting for the perfect moment or for everything to be just right can lead to missed opportunities and regrets. High-value men know that taking action even if it's not perfect, is better than doing nothing at all. They trust their instincts, make decisions with confidence, and aren't afraid to take risks. But initiative isn't just about bold moves, it's also about consistency. It's about showing up every day, putting in the work, and being proactive in all areas of life. Whether it's in your career, relationships, or personal growth, Taking initiative means being the one who leads, who makes things happen, and who doesn't shy away from responsibility. Reflecting on your past, you might recall moments when you hesitated, when you let opportunities slip through your fingers because you were waiting for the perfect time. These memories can bring a sense of regret, but they also serve as a powerful motivator to be more proactive in the future. As you commit to taking initiative and making decisive action, curiosity begins to take hold. How will this change your life? What new opportunities will you discover when you stop waiting and start acting? By embracing this trait, you're not just becoming a high-value man. You're becoming the architect of your own destiny, someone who shapes their life with purpose and intention. By now, You've journeyed through the essential traits that define a high-value man. You've learned that it's not just about outward appearances or temporary gains, but about cultivating a deeper sense of self-worth, respect, and integrity. These traits, self-sufficiency, genuine upliftment of others, confidence, equality in relationships, deep engagement, passion, honesty, humor, initiative, and emotional independence are your roadmap to becoming the best version of yourself. It's a challenging path, but it's one that will transform your life and the lives of those around you. If you've made it this far, drop a 100 in the comments. This shows that you're part of the top 0.01% who truly commit to finishing what they start. You've already taken the first step by absorbing this knowledge. Now it's time to take action. If you're serious about transforming your life, make sure to join our community by subscribing to the channel. Together, we can continue growing and striving to become high-value men who make a difference. Stay focused, stay strong, and never stop pursuing excellence.